All right, guys, Supreme Kami here, and today I'm going to be testing out Lin at zero star to her six star variant. So I am going to be using Ruby as a median to just kind of test out a few things. Uh, first of all, at her one star, she gives, or not her one star, excuse me, uh, under her just her regular skills uh, under the Moonlight Realm, she actually gives a 15% attack up. So that's why we, don't, we do want to test it out. And then at her five star variant, she gives a 15% to the discharge. So that's why we want to see how that works and then at her six stars i believe her original 15 percent under the moonlight round now jumps up to 23 percent so we just want to see if we can kind of spotlight those a few things with her and then i think all the other things is pretty much going to be all really just passive base within lin herself so uh, once i do switch over to ruby using like her actual weapon uh we will see a lot of let's say up uh, damage so i think that's pretty much what lin is going to be providing throughout uh just because her kid does not really it's, it's not really like beefing up your overall um, other other weapon, right? Um, but we'll, we're also going to be using Sabasa A1 just for a quick demonstration just to see which one is better and etc. Um, so yeah, let's kind of get started and see how is it. All right, so starting out the comparison with probably the biggest question is Subasa better or is Lin better? So we are starting out at one star Subasa and then zero star Lin, and then using Ruby as, you know, pretty much like the median to test out which one does better. And uh, to my surprise, Ruby actually did more damage under zero star Lin. So uh, the damage wasn't really quite that high, but I mean, like, my Subasa is only one star. So as we continue to start up Lin, you guys will definitely see a little bit more of a drastic changes throughout so stay tuned to that All right, so even with the one star advancement with Berlin, it's probably not gonna show you the biggest damage difference because uh, her one star advancement is pretty much gonna be affecting her epithelium just a little bit more. Um, but you guys can still see that Ruby is able to output more damage under one star Lin, obviously, just because zero star is already doing so. So let's see what this three star do for us here. All right, so now taking a look at three star Lin. So once again, she does not really provide any more attack up or damage up to um, any of your other weapon per se, but her epithelium is gonna get way more better. Um, so that's pretty much the main takeaway. So your off view damage is gonna gradually start to get a lot more better. So at three star is definitely what most people recommend. And then you guys can see that the off view damage on the last two column are just gonna be way more better. So this is gonna be the epithelium testing. So I did live with all the zero star, one star, and three star. So you guys can see a drastic changes as far as from zero star to three star. So three star, honestly, it's just gonna be providing that really, really good off the damage. So uh, if you guys can, I think three star is definitely the sweetest spot. So you guys can see that uh, giving you that extra five seconds and then that epithelium launching at 0.3 seconds is just really, really massive. <laughs> So this is going to be the 4 star Lin with the 5 star Lin comparison here. So I actually did went back ahead to pull a little bit more. So that's why I did upgrade it 
uh, my Lin Weapon 3 to 150 versus the initial testing at base level 80. So that's why obviously the output is just going to be a lot more better. But the main takeaway for this comparison is that we want to see the discharge because her discharge now give an additional 15%. So uh, that's why you can see that as far as Ruby discharge is going to be a uh, way, way higher than what you would see at the four star version. So now we are going to be doing the testing versus the 5 star lens versus the 6 star lens. So the biggest takeaway from 5 star to 6 star is the fact that uh, within the Moonlight Realm, uh, the attack is going to go up from 15% to 23%. And your Moonlight Realm is going to be able to launch up to twice now. So um, as far as Ruby herself, uh, she won't be, you know, doing, you know, way more massive damage. But as far as the off you damage, so you guys can see it's going to skyrocket once again. So the biggest takeaway from the Epithelium 5 star to 6 star testing is the fact that the damage nearly doubled up when I was able to use 2 of the Moonlight Realm. And uh, as far as a disclaimer, you are not able to get double the charge speed with 2 of the Moonlight Realm. So that is definitely something to kind of keep that in mind. And damage has increased to 23% from 50%. So if I'm reading that right, so that is really, really powerful.